Hello everybody. It's Crafting Just Because with Chris Cowan. I hope everybody's having a lovely Friday. Okay. So we're going to be playing with the Friends for Life stamp set and dies. We're also going to be using the Friends for Life designer series paper and I've picked out these two pieces and then this piece. We're pairing it with some Coastal Cabana, Poppy Parade, Granny Apple Green, and then we're going to do some die cutting. So let's get the die cutting out of the way first. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to be making a 3D little craft here. So first, I'm going to die cut um, Friend in our Granny Apple Green here. And it's the outline piece. Perfect. Then I wanted to die cut um, the friend that's the, the wording. I wanted to bring in some of that um, red. So we're going to do that at a poppy parade. Okay, you guys want to hear a funny story? Well, I don't know if it's funny, but the last two, um, there's my eye, the last two orders that we've done, I've done for Stampin' Up, I've ordered the same set in French. What the heck? I've already had the stamp set, number one. Number two, what am I doing ordering it in French? I don't even know French. Weird, huh? Okay, now we're going to use, I call it like a paint splatter piece. And what we're going to do, I wanted to do it this way, but it's too short. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in and we'll arrange well, like, I want to do um, th four of these, and we'll move it around so that we get the different colors. So there's one. And then let's move it down so we get all these colors. stuck in there. There we go. And then I want to do it a couple more times here. Um, this would be cute, this paper with the cutouts, um, would be cute if you kept it and did the sentiments through here and you could frame that onto a card. That'd be cute. Might have to keep that and see what happens. 
Okay, so that's all of our die cutting we're going to do. And so let's get this out of the way. And we'll put this back in here so we don't lose any pieces. Okay, now we're going to bring in our stamp set. Okay, let's actually first glue our friend together here so it can dry while we're cutting the rest of our items. Because I'm going to put a block on this just to make sure that it all sticks together. Got a little heavy handed in a couple areas here. Okay, let's see if we can get this matched up nicely. Not too bad. Okay, then let's put a dot there. Oh, shoot. For our eye. And I'm going to use my little pokey tool here. I think. Let's see if I can lift it up. Okay. Um... I think this one's out of stuff. Hold on, guys. Ah, oh, dang it. I need to refill my piece there. There we go. So there's that. Just had to be a little bit patient. Okay, now we're going to bring in the stamp set. And I want to stamp... Um... Love you. On the top one. And then we're going to skip one. And then we want to do Miss You. And then it's going to say Friend. miss you and I don't know if we're going to use that last piece I kind of have to see how it lays out but I wanted to make sure I had enough items die cut okay so we're done with our stamp set and um, die cuts now let's cut our pieces and make our project okay so I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer 
and I'm going to bring in that Coastal Cabana and I want to cut a piece of cardstock that is five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. Okay. And then we are going to score it on all four sides at one and a half. Okay. So we're making a little box here. Okay, so there's that piece. I'm just going to put it aside there. Then we want to cut a piece of cardstock that is three inches by ten inches. Okay, and we're going to score that on the ten inch side at two three and a half six and a half and eight okay we're gonna set that aside um let's see here then we want to cut a piece that is three by six so three inches by six inches and on that six inch side we want to score it at three inches and four and a half inches so three inches and four and a half inches that's going to make a little easel and then last but not least sorry last but not least we want a three inch piece of cardstock three by three Okay, then we want to cut some designer series paper. And so we're going to bring in our pieces um, right here. And we want to cut two pieces that are two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. So I'm going to go ahead and cut two pieces that are two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Okay. And then I also need three pieces that are two and seven eighths by one and three eighths. So two seven eighths by one and three eighths. One. three I guess we didn't need two pieces of designer series paper I just wanted to make sure okay so we used two pieces of the cardstock but there was lots left over and then one piece of the six by six designer series paper we're all done with our paper trimmer so now we're just going to assemble our cute little project here we're going to bring in some dimensionals, some glue, and our bone folder, and our paper snips. Okay, so first we're going to work on the base of the box. Let's fold and burnish our box. And now we're going to cut up the score line to the intersecting score line. And we're going to do this on all four corners in a pinwheel fashion. And we're going to wedge it. Okay. Turn it.
Okay. Whoops. Trim a little hair off of there. And a little hair off of here. Okay, so now we're going to glue up our tabs. And form our box. Just like that. Hold that for just a minute. tab as well and we'll glue those down at the same time and hold that okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my bone folder down over those tabs just making sure it's all stuck down I'm gonna set that aside now we're gonna come in with our three by ten and a half inch piece and we're gonna burnish our score lines and this is going to be the wrap that goes around our box okay hold on here though before we do that I want to use one of these pieces and glue it to the front of our box. Whoops, don't move. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small circle punch and this one is retired, but any circle punch will work. And I just want to make a tiny little divot here in the middle so that you have a finger pull, just like that. Okay, we're gonna set that aside. Oh, and then we're gonna bring in our box here. And I'm going to go ahead and put glue on one side about a half inch deep and we're going to wrap this around the box and you don't want it to be tight tight so like a right about there is good I'm gonna move my box out of the way for just a minute and then set that down so I can get a nice glue there, okay. And then I'm going to add my designer series paper to the top of that to cover up that seam. Just like that. And then let's go ahead and put on the side pieces as well. And then we'll slide that onto our box. Uh-oh, you know what I shouldn't have done? I shouldn't have done this piece yet. We might have to cut another one. That was my bad. I got a little carried away. Let's see if I can make do here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and push our box through there. Okay, then we're going to fold this up like a valley, mountain valley. Yep, so I should, well, It'll, it'll actually work because this piece should have gone down. Oh, well, 
we actually don't need that extra three by three piece. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put glue right on down onto that piece right there. So if you do it like I just did, I'd wait and put this over it with the designer series paper, but because I didn't, um, I'm just gonna skip this three by three piece. And then we're going to add our designer series paper. And I'm gonna keep it off the box for a minute because it'll be easier for me to decorate it. Okay, so this is how this is gonna go. And I messed this up. Yeah, 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 yikes. Let's see if I could rip it off. Mm. Hold on, let's see here. I had it, I had it right and then I moved it. No, that's right. It's not right though. Hmm, hold on. Does it go this? I think it goes this way. No. I want it to stand up. Does this go like this? No. No. Okay, hold on, guys. Why? I do this every single time I make a project like this. I second guess myself. Oh, geez, I'm on live and I can't get this figured out. Hold on just a second, you guys. That's what it is. This needs to be glued down like this. And then it goes like this. Okay. So we do need my three by three. And I'm going to have to cut another piece of designer series paper. That's okay. I figured it out. It just took me a minute. And then that doesn't even look three by three, does it? Okay, let's cut two pieces. Let's cut a three by three piece and a two and seven eighths inch piece. Just took me a minute to figure it out because I was on camera. So three by three. And then a two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths inch piece. Okay. Pokey dokey pokey. 
just took us a second. We had to regroup, regroup, redirect, redirect. Okay. I know now the designer series paper is a little different, but it's all going to go together because it's all from that same pack. Okay, so now you're going to glue this down onto this. Just like this. Uh, oh, look, we can move our box to the other side. Okay. Okay, so it's gonna go like this. So now what we wanna do is we want, oh, we're gonna have to cut these quite a bit. I should have probably stamped it over here. That's okay. So we're gonna go, love you. Just like that. And then I'm gonna cut it off. Love you. And then let's do more blues. So I'm only going to glue a little bit there. And I'm glad I did four because it'll hold four. And then, you know what? I'm going to, no. It's okay. We're going to go miss you. Whoops. And we're going to cut that off. So I am not pulling in the red, but you'll see the red in our friend piece. Okay, we're almost there, you guys. Even with our little mistake where I got myself all jumbled up. So now I'm going to put my friend on dimensionals so that it'll hold up um, our little card there. I'm almost there, guys. Almost there. Let's cut a little bit more. And one more. There we go. I might want to do a little bit here on my F. Okay. So we cut some of those down. Now we just need to take our release paper off. be almost done with our project. Okay. So then this will go just like this. And it'll hold it up. Love you, miss you, friend. That's our project for today, you guys. Sorry it took me a second to regroup and figure out how I was making this project. But we got it. It's all part, part of trial and error sometimes, isn't it, folks? Okay, you guys have a blessed weekend, and I will see you later. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.